Hi, I'm your host, Will Ward, and tonight we're going to dive into the complex world of cloning. We have many experts on hand with us tonight. Should be one heck of a show tonight. Tonight we're joined by lab technician and biology expert Noah Kozlowski. Noah? It's great to oh, have you. It's a pleasure to be here. And, oh, I'm sorry. Can I just say, you look incredible tonight. Well, you're not so bad yourself there. Well, thank you. Getting back on topic, tell me about the new fascinating technologies of the world of cloning. Well, we can talk about cloning all day, but basically the process that was used in the cloning of Dolly the sheep was the, the donor cell is taken from a sheep sutter and the egg cell is taken from an adult female sheep. And the nucleus of the egg cell is removed and then that rest of the cell is fused with the donor cell using electronic, an electronic shock. And the fused cell begins to divide normally in the process of mitosis as it would in a normal sheep. And the embryo develops and is placed in the uterus of a foster mother. And then it develops and is birthed as a cloned lamb. Dolly in this case. Interesting, interesting stuff. Thanks for being on the show tonight. Thanks again for having me. Back to you, Will. Thanks, Noah. Over the past couple weeks, we discovered that when the DNA is taken from the donor organism and has begun development, it is exactly identical to the donor organism. Cloning is the same process that makes twins, for example. But twins is formed naturally. The cloning we're talking about is done in a lab. Cloning isn't what a lot of people think it is in their head. Most people think it's making a whole other human being and then just letting them run free and do whatever. But a lot of cloning is for organs to save lives. And it's not like you clone a human and take his organ and kill him. You clone just the organ, so there's really no harm done. When hearing the word clone or cloning, what first comes to mind? Star Wars? A large machine that clones anything, living or otherwise? Or maybe just a bunch of guys that look the exact same with no real purpose at all. But the truth is, cloning is done in many different ways and used for many different things. Cloning has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities in the medical field. This probably isn't the image that comes to mind when cloning is mentioned, but with these new technologies, all kinds of organs and body parts can be cloned in order to save lives. Cloning is a relatively new discovery. With every new discovery, there are some unknowns, there's some benefits, unbenefits, and even some more unknowns. Gene regulation is a big part of cloning. Gene regulation is the process in which genes are turned on and off and told whether or not they need to be expressed in the final gene product. This diagram shows the basic idea of gene regulation. When the activators fit in correctly, that gene is expressed. This is critical in the process of cloning. This has been a Dateline Special Report.